Okay, so we have the chassis breakout panel, and uh, it um, sits in a chassis, and uh, all the I.O. ports kind of plug through it. So it kind of looks like that when it's plugged in. Um, it uh, appears to be metal, but it also has uh, something new I haven't seen before. It's been a while since I built one uh, computer. So um, it's got this uh, spongy foam with some kind of foil wrapped around it. Okay, so we're going to install the breakout panel, and it goes in the bottom of the chassis. That kind of sits in here like this. And it should snap into place. It feels like that's pretty good. Let's just take a look at how that's going to do. So you can see when the panel's in place, uh, it look, kind of looks kind of like that. Okay, so now that we have the chassis plate installed here, there are standoffs here, 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 and one you can't see because of the, uh, uh, pro uh, the uh, hard drive chassis. So the idea is that the... the uh, Motherboard sits on these standoffs. In the reviews, they said that there were bumps, but these are these actually look like they're built-in standoffs. So uh, we're gonna pop the motherboard on and see how that looks. The so close-up of the standoff, and uh, this illustrates more closely that there's no longer bumps in this design. They must have modified it. Uh, looks looks uh, like a much better approach. Okay. We used a little hex driver to make sure. All the standoffs were nice and tight, and they hadn't come loose in shipping. And we're going to try to gently, gently put this in. I don't feel like it's quite in right. Let's see what the... Okay. There we go. Seems like all the connectors are in. We're going to have to try again. Something's interfering. We've got the motherboard installed and uh, it comes with these little screws and um, I put them in all the spots around the motherboard and we're just going to tighten them down. The top part up here is a little, just a little displaced. It's not exactly center. So the board is kind of pushed out this way a little bit. And we're just going to slump these down a little bit, a little bit each time. They say not to over tighten 
and I'm just worried about stripping out the uh, standoffs or crushing the motherboard. I want it nice and firm. So I'll just do it a little bit. A little bit of a flex on the on the motherboard and the chassis. It's not too bad. There's a, a uh, just a nut sticking up here. And they give me a, another standoff, so maybe that screws on top of that. I'll have to review that with the uh, instructions. So it looks like that's installed. All the bolts, all the screws. All right. Okay, before I get too far along with uh, the build, I just want to make sure that everything... Um, works correctly or is, is aligned correctly so I went through and just double checked the uh, USB connections the Ethernet connection anything that was recessed in the back port and then I grabbed the graphics card and just made sure I just made sure the graphics card I had to remove the little protective thing here I think I put it on wrong when I did it the first time here. There we go. Push the little push the little latch down. I've taken it I've I've already taken out the uh, the uh, covers and it's um it's kind of a a little bit fiddly to hold because the fans are here, so I I try to force myself to grab it in the middle. And the car just slides right in. So it looks like uh, maybe there's a little bit of play in this. But once the screws are in and the latch is on, it should align okay. So I think we're good with the motherboard um, installation. And we'll continue on with uh, the CPU and the memory. Okay, we did get that right. The book says... Channel one, and I'm going to put them in like this. Upside down. So I put pressure at the back the back side here and then press this in and it causes the little latch to click in so very positive positive feel to connectors some memory connectors aren't aren't quite that positive okay next cpu we're going to install the processor there's these little bars here that you press down press down and oh, press this one down releases it a little bit press this one that releases this opens this little hook and then you just pull this and this whole thing comes up to expose the processor and then you can take out this little take out this little plastic spacer that protects your pins. So I just removed that. So we're going to install the processor. You uh, press these little levers down and that releases the, uh, the bracket. Okay. And we have the uh, Intel uh, iCore 5 930k 5930k it's a uh, three and a half gigahertz um, hex core processor so you'll notice that there's these little notches here top and bottom and these align with the connectors 
and then this little triangle here aligns with the triangle over here so that you know where the uh, for where the pen uh, the, the, the key is now if you try putting it upside down these little little notches are offset so it doesn't it doesn't fit so it really only goes in one way and so we've got a little triangle here a triangle here and then all the notches all the four notches two on the bottom, two on the top, all align just nicely. So we'll close the little door, press this latch down, and then we'll press this latch down. Okay, so that has the processor installed.